Hey everybody, it's Lorraine Scampers here, personal trying out over 30 years experience, rehab, correction, working with injuries, pre and postnatal, perimenopause, etc. and online programs. But in this series of videos, we're discussing my total knee replacement that I had in February of this year, that's 2024. I am now eight months post-surgery and today's video is, I've just got back from a walk, excuse me, that's why I'm a little bit mess up. Today's video is part two of our scar tissue massage. So, being through the winter, we, all, we know or were advised, best time of year to have your surgery done is through the summer. And I completely agree with this, when you can wear shorts or long skirts, etc., rather than wrapping up with lots of layers. Because definitely over those first three months, you kind of want to keep things um, kind of free so you've got good movement um, throughout the joint. And sometimes, you know, wearing lots and lots of layers can reduce that movement. Also as well, it can prevent actually how often you do your scar tissue massage. Now, I started, I think I started the scar tissue massage around about week six or week seven. Remember, it's when all, everything's completely healed and there's no scars whatsoever. So there's no um, breakage within the skin um, from a scar. And then we work through, remember what we said, and that constant massage. If you've not seen that video, I go through all the steps and what I've been doing um, for massage. So where am I? Um, sort of six months post starting. Well, when I first started, let's have a look at the knee first. All right, so as you can see, let me see if I go drop this down a little bit without losing my phone. It's not gonna come off. There we go, that's better. All right, so prior to the scar tissue massage, this wasn't really moving and it would catch. You, you would see, you can see that now, it's got all that movement back on it. The scar is just Basically, that nice little white line, nothing sore around it at all. There's muscle just starting to happen. Really good through here. Um, when I touched it, gosh, there's hardly any scar tissue left. It's a little bit, remember that was really lumpy here. So what I've been doing, so it is harder when I've not got shorts on. I'm in the car when I'm picking up my kids um, from all their sports. I would often do this whilst I was driving or in the car, and not long, only a couple of minutes, but maybe three or four times a week. Um, and then I would still often um, go through some of the steps, um, what I suggest in the video, or what I have been doing is, here's my best tip, do these little cheap things, which you got off Timu. I'm not promoting promoting this at all. It's actually worked really well as a personal trainer. I'd always wanted a massage gun. But for my scalp tissue massage, it's actually pretty good. Because um, I just go on that patch, not often. All right. And what I've also found is, and it's not long, to increase the sensitivity. Again, remember, we, because of the nerve damage and everything that gets cut around through the scalp. So that's basically all I do. I'll just turn it off for a second. Okay, so we know when everything's been damaged, we lose a lot of the feeling and the area becomes numb. Now with massage, wearing different fabrics, I'm using the gun, it actually stimulates all new nerve endings. So we can try and reduce that numbness. Also, even when I suggest, you know, shaving my legs felt awful, I've still been doing it because I think the razor going over the numb area, which has definitely reduced, again, helps stimulate um, for new nerve connections. So this still feels really weird. If on this bit where you run your fingers and it's all normal, I feel it kind of down through here and little tingles, but it's reduced. It's not numb here anymore. So my numbness, Probably there was there's still that scar tissue. So I'm actually hoping with continued scar tissue massage 
that's going to reduce. Feels a little bit weird here, okay? And I would say that's probably where most of the metal work is. Um, so lots of the nerve endings were caught. I still cannot feel that whatsoever. But in terms of the scar, I'm really happy with it. Look, at it's got, it's all moving. None of the scar is stuck, none of it. It's absolutely perfect. It's lying pretty flat. There's no lumps. Like I said, there's just this scar tissue that's under here. And highly recommend. Just go. And again, this helps with the nerves as well. All right. So these are 21 bucks from um, Timo. Um, best, best thing I've bought off that website. <laughs> um, so I'm sure you guys can pick them up. And it's also good for lots of other things as well. So with the IT band through the back of the knee as well. So I work through here, which often gets quite tight. Um, great tool to pick up everybody. Um, and again, I'm not sponsored by that, so. Um, yep, um, hope you enjoyed this update. Stay on top of it, even if you're in the car. Find that scar tissue, massage, gun. When you're sitting on the couch, stretches. Don't forget, they're really gonna help. Look. This is really improving. Um, I can grab that. Honestly, last month I couldn't do this. I would get um, cramp as well in through the hamstring. So I'm really happy about that. Please keep me updated on your progress. Next video is going to be some exercises for you. Um, post that initial rehab stage. Um, what you need to be looking for in technique. But yeah, drop me a message with anything that you'd like to know, questions, etc. Remember, um, as a personal trainer for 30 years, this is based on all my experience, corrective exercise that I've done in the past with many, many athletes, I have joint pain issues. I um, yeah, so this you know, always clear things with your physiotherapist and surgeon first. All right, everybody, make sure you like and follow, and I'll see you all soon. Bye everybody.